Welcome to Leisha Today. So today we're going to be working on engraving tumblers. So this first one I have, um, it's already been engraved, but I'm gonna use it as my test. Um, oops. So let me give you the details on this tumbler and let's get started. So this tumbler is a 20 ounce skinny tumbler and it has a black coating on it. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to find the settings to use to engrave. I wanna do a full wrap on this one. Um, so like I said, this is one I already made and it has like a design on this side and on the other side. So it's already like a test tumbler. So let me show you guys how to do your test to find out what settings you should use to engrave. First thing you wanna do is put it onto the laser cylindrical. I'm using the chuck and not the rollers. So I'm gonna to need to get the perimeter. Then we're going to put in a shape, so I'm going to choose a heart. And then what you're going to do is you want to change it to engrave. And then you want to go up here to array and you want to do a materials test array. I just leave it on the settings that it has. And then I'm just going to put engrave one more time here. And then I'm just going to size it down. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to get the perimeter. Okay, so depending on how you have it set up in your um, software, so if you're using X tool Create a Space like me, you can either put it in inches or millimeters. So right now mine is set to inches, so I'm going to measure this on the inches side of the ruler. Um, this one came with the X tool. So it looks like it's about 10.25 inches. So in here, I'm gonna put the perimeter as 10.25. And like I said, it says inches right here and then it automatically does the diameter. And then we're gonna get the distance by putting the laser right over the um, tumbler. So before we do the distance, we want to make sure that it's level. So right now it's not exactly level. So I'm just going to use this one. This one also came with the rotor, uh, rotary attachment. So I'm just adjusting this until I see that that bubble is centered. Let's make sure it's on the right. So it looks good to me. So then I'm going to put the laser over top and then I'm gonna get the distance. Ice down the um, test. A gradient here so that I can see where it's going to engrave on the tumbler so I'm gonna hit framing so it's gonna frame where it's going to put that test so I just want to make sure that it's not gonna go over the whole entire thing so it looks like it's gonna do a pretty good size to me so I'm gonna go ahead and start it I'll come back to you guys once it's finished engraving so you guys can see what settings seem to work the best. And then we'll go from there. Okay, so it took about 12 minutes to do this. So I'm going to take it off and you can see like it has like all the powder and stuff on it. So you want to go ahead and wipe it down. So I'm just going to get a baby wipe and some... Um, and a little bit of alcohol and I'm going to wipe it down with that. So 
It actually looks like a few of the settings look pretty good on here. All right, so let's see if we can look at this. The lighting is not the greatest. So let me move this. Okay, so if you look at it right here, you can look to see what you think is the best setting. Um, so it looks like there's a bunch, so I'm just gonna pick one and then I'll show you guys how to enter that one in to your settings. I have the design in, so I'm gonna put the settings that um, look good to me. So I'm gonna try the 100 power on three oh five speed. I saw three settings that I like, but I'm gonna try this one and I'm gonna do one pass and then we're going to line up the laser with the image. So I'm gonna go do that. So we'll see if these settings work. Um, I did all the measurements, so I'm gonna see if the measurements worked. So it looks good to me. So then I'm also going to double check again to make sure that it's level. So it's still level. And so then I'm going to line this laser up at the top here. And make sure it lines up in a way that you know that it's straight. So that looks good to me. It's still level. So then we're going to do the framing. Okay, so it looks good to me. So then I'm going to start it with the settings that I have on place. And then I'll check in back in with you guys as it goes along so you can see how it turns out. And then we'll see the end product. All right, so it's done. It took about 32 minutes. So we're gonna take it off here and wipe it down with a baby wipe and some alcohol. So we're gonna see if it if the design is on there and doesn't overlap and all that stuff. So I'm just gonna give it a quick wipe down because it doesn't need to be perfect. I just want you guys to see the design and like keep in mind, like I said, this is like a test tumbler, so there is some other designs that are on here as well, but that doesn't matter. Okay. All right, so if we look at it, so where it connects would be right here. So this is one side of the design on this side and it's the other side on the opposite side. And it looks good. It looks like nothing overlapped. So it looks like those settings would be perfect. All right, thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Take care. Stay blessed.